Hello, everyone. This is Monsef Afker, and uh, thank you so much for joining us in this new call of Your Divine Uniqueness. Um, yeah, as always, thank you for your presence, sharing with us this uh, time and space. And um, yeah, also very, very excited and very happy that Denise Ricard is, uh, is back on the show. Um, I think she joined us the last time, it was on February this, this year. And uh, really, we had really wonderful experience and powerful experience with her during uh, our first call and also received like really amazing feedback from those of you who, who, who attended that, uh, that call, whether live or, or the replay. And really, I, first, I love the, how to say, maybe she, she holds the, the frequency of love and we can feel that when we listen to her or when we talk to her or connect with her in general, we just feel that easily. And it makes makes us feel more safe and have more trust in 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 um in the guidance that she 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 uh she shares with us. And and also it's how to say when someone holds that frequency, it's something that is being transmitted to us as well. And also I love the her message, her work and the healing work that she that's um that she's offering and uh, the last time it was about um numerology and uh today it will be uh, a different subject it's uh elementals uh and dragons and uh, so we will we will be sharing about that the elementals beings um uh, our connection with them and uh, how they can um help us in 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 awakening to higher consciousness and the focus will be more like today on on the dragons. So it's really exciting subjects. Uh, I really love that. And um, also we'll have a Q and A um, after that where you can ask Denise your questions. So as always, you can raise your hand on Zoom app by clicking reactions, then raise hand. Or if you are on your phone, you can click on star nine to raise your hand. And also you can type your questions on the chat boxes on Zoom and also YouTube. And for those of you who are new to Denise, um, she is a galactic numerologist, light language, sacred codes transmitter, divine channel, and intuitive soul path coach. And um, yeah, so so with that, Denise, welcome back to the show. Happy to have you with us. Thank you so much, Mansaf. I'm so happy to be here. And like the joy is just bubbling up as I see, you know, people joining. And um, thank you everybody for being here. And I know there will be others who um who tune in um at another now moment. And uh thank you for that beautiful, beautiful introduction. And really, um, I I in the last show I gave a little bit of background that I woke up or had my awakening, my spiritual awakening, uh, to really what my soul path and purpose is when I very, you know, later in life. And um I was 49. And and from there it was like from zero to infinity. And I wanted, I was just everything in, I was reading everything. I was joining summits and, and reading and learning crystals and dragons and fairies and elementals and numbers and astrology, everything. And, uh, and really uh, became clear that I'm like, I remembered full remembering that I'm here to co-create and usher in the seventh golden age. And, and so to do that, it's like, it's like, we're all waking up and remembering that we're, we're not just this body, we're actually um, our presence, our, our higher self, our I am presence, that's within the physical body. And so, so with, and, and there's just so much to that, our bodies. And our energy fields are all sacred geometry. Um, and there's like, I'm the galactic numerologist. So I've got this, all this numerology that has to do with higher like consciousness and wholeness. And, and, and it's all a part of the sacred geometry. And, um, and so also um, while we're here on earth and while, while we are in our awakening and and really going through our uh, our life and the awakening is like um, removing layers and layers and layers of lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes of duality consciousness or or just things that um, that aren't 
the truth, like the divine truth. And, and it's all a part of our soul growth. And, and every, and each and every path we take is perfect. Um, there, you know, one of the things that, that I work with a lot with my clients is like, well, I, I, I could have done this, or I, the, everything that you do exactly when you do it is a part of that learning process. And so, um, so part of my learning process, it has been really about, um, like the dragons and the crystals, <clears throat> excuse me, all these elemental beings, all this magic came forth, like the magic came into me. And I was, and I was just so excited because magic just totally sparks, sparks me. And, and so, um, Merlin came in as my divine partner and Toth is as well. And, and Merlin's all about magic. And, and if you see any type of um, uh, imagery of Merlin, or if Merlin comes to you, um, or if you, like, if there's any perception of Merlin, of the wizard, because I, I'm definitely a wizard because I've been with him in many lifetimes <laughs> and learned from him. I saw my I saw myself as one lifetime as a young boy, like with with these tattered short like pants on and barefoot and in the forest and um like in in his uh, like in a space like in this room with with Merlin and he was teaching me and about magic and alchemy and um, and so often he, he is seen with dragons, like he might have a dragon emblem on, or there might be a dragon somewhere in, um, the imagery because, uh, because Merlin works with the dragons and, and, um, and also, uh, the Quan Yin is one of the ascended masters as well. And she, is um, associated also with with dragons. So, and she's one of the you know one of the divine mother um, uh, energies as well. So, so it's very exciting and magical. And 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 I'm sure like everybody who's here has like some sort of like connection. Like, why is this happening? Why you know um, maybe it's uh, you know. My I had a my younger brother used to play this game called Dungeons and Dragons, and he was just all into that game. And um, he still to this day doesn't believe that there's real dragons, but <laughs> he he knows somewhere in his um it, somewhere in his being the dragons are connecting to him. And um and 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 I've been you know working with a lot of people and and they say I don't know what's happening I'm just like all of a sudden I saw a dragon or I'm um reading about dragons or I feel their energy and um and I'm holding two crystals in my hand because the dragons will imbue uh their energy into crystals as well and so you may have met a dragon through a crystal and uh, or through a meditation, through through any type of energetic encounter, and and so so we're here today to to really um, uh, connect more with the dragons and elementals. The dragons work with uh, the other elemental beings, uh, the unicorns and um, the other the winged ones, and some of them are. Uh, working uh, cosmically uh, and then working on the earth, helping all of us to awaken uh, and, and help bring in the new earth and the new golden age. And, uh, and some are uh, within, uh, within the energetic realms of the earth, because what happened was as you know, we've, we're going into our seventh golden age and when there was um, the separation that happened um, uh, thousands and thousands of years ago, the, uh, the 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 fall from grace or whatever you want to call it, the separation do, um, energy, uh, everybody went into separation and separated from their their source presence, from their I am presence, um, 
to, uh, to learn from it. And then it just kind of became a downward spiral. But now um, Gaia has requested um, assistance and it is here and you can call on any ascended master, any angelic being, any cosmic being, your own higher self, your own I am presence, and these beings, the elemental beings to assist. And so the other thing I want to bring in, and we'll just, I'm just touching on a few things. And then I'm, and then Mansef, you said that you had, um, you also, because at the end of our last meeting, we were talking, we kind of talked about like, oh, maybe we'll talk about dragons next time because you had had an experience as well. And uh, another thing about the elementals is that the elemental beings and the elements are, um, are what our physical bodies are made of. And so, so we are the elements. And so the elemental beings like um, the, the air sylphs, um, the fire salamanders, uh, the undines, which are the, the water beings, and then all the different beings like um, earth elementals, like the gnomes and the fairies and the elves and the leprechauns, uh, like all of those beings are all a part of the elemental kingdom, which had to go into the surface and be existing under the earth when this this fallen consciousness happened so that uh, the duality happened because all of a sudden um, the physical body was dying and then there were these um, the re the reincarnation cycle was happening so because the elementals in the elemental kingdoms uh, were uh, that they, they did not have that and their their physical bodies when they were upon the earth um, could they could stay in them as long as they they wished and as we could as well we could stay in our physical bodies until the separation occurred and so so they are back with us to also be a part of that process because there's so much high consciousness energy coming into the earth uh if you're a light worker you're help and we are all light workers but you're helping to harness that light um and and bring it into the earth the elementals the dragons are are uh running that energy through the energetic lines of the earth gaia is uh there's crystals the inner earth the beings of inner earth it's just all the mountains the elemental beings of the mountains and the trees and all of that the every we are getting so much help and so much assistance. And, uh, and so that's why, um, why many people are um, starting to connect to dragons or remember, because really it's a remembering, it's a remembering for all of it. And, and until the consciousness is at a certain level, um, the, for them to actually return to the surface of the earth, and we are so we're, we're already there. Um, I was going to say we're so close, but in when time, when we're on the quantum fields of infinite possibilities, time doesn't exist. And really the old, new golden age is here. And what my gods have, have been showing me is that there's like this, um, that like, this is the new golden age, and this is where we're at. And we're just, our consciousness is just bringing that together. It's bringing that together for us. So, so that's why, that's how we bring it in by raising our frequency, raising our consciousness, letting go of all the fear, all the, the dense energies, all of the, um, uh, just the, the separation energies that are just not true. And to, to really tap into our heart space and be in the space of love to be in the space of love, divine love and light is what is buoying us and, uh, and helping us to resurrect uh, that uh, our God self back into this physical body. So we can, we'll be, we will be lighter. We won't be as, as dense. <laughs> we can be any age we want. And, um, and yet we can remain upon the earth with our, our presence fully intact. So 
so I do want to ask you on stuff, but first I, um, I always want us to just like, I always like to get in the space and connect in and, and so that's all a part of it. It's all, um, everything that just streamed through all that consciousness that, that channeled through and streamed through is all a part of it. And yet just kind of preparing ourselves in this space and just your your dragon is thanking you for being here the elementals the elemental kingdom is thanking you for being here because you've listened to your inner knowing that there's there's something for you here there's something to assist you in in raising your consciousness in uh, knowing more about uh, the elemental beings and and in particular, uh, the dragons. So just breathe into your heart. And I'm going to speak some light language. And this light language is um, bringing in um, the energy from the elemental kingdom that is um, appropriate and perfect for, uh, for this time together, for this session, to really... Um, help you to open up your heart space even more to be um to be receiving all that is here and just know that i always set up an energy container and an energy vortex so everything that happens we are we're like in this cocoon this beautiful cocoon of alchemy that everything that happens within this space and place whether you're here live or you're tuning in at another time is uh, is alchemizing and is expanding and is um, is perfect for your consciousness and and so just uh, tapping into and and setting an intention that whatever is for you to that that the highest and best for you to garner from all of this setting that intention. And just opening up to receive the these elemental energies that assist you in receiving more. So it's really opening your heart more to to this consciousness. Yakata sabno koma ke yana kake kia sata ki kia nyonda kakia. And the dragons are speaking now. Yaha. Yo ha he. He. Yankia. Yanaka he. We are calling to you, dear ones. And we are. Delighted that you hear us because we are here to assist you. Anaki e siosaka. For you may have your challenges in your life. And yet we are here. And so when you go into your heart, you can connect with us. And when you go into your heart and, and have that inner night sight or that inner knowing in a very meditative and quiet space, you can connect, you will connect with us. And then you can imagine that in any way that you imagine it, that we are there and just like in the movies, and this may be a way that you imagine us being with you is in the movies like where you hop upon our backs and then off we go flying 
through the higher consciousness octaves that will assist you in in resolving whatever challenges are coming up, will assist you into tapping into more dimensions, connecting more with us and with other elementals, and just helping you to awaken and remember. Nyamate shiasone Nyamate shiosane Nyamate shiosane And I, Merlin, am very present with all of you as well. Mayanati for the magic, the magical and alchemical connection to these beautiful elemental beings who are in service to the divine, to source, and to all of us, to all of you. Mena kokoa sata, nionabaka asate. And so I, Merlin, am adding some light language to this beautiful alchemical uh, substance and energy of the elemental being. Nionabaka asate, nionabaka and you may, may even imagine as I'm placing a magical wand in each of your hands, and you may uh, notice which which hand is it in, and uh, either hand is, is uh, stoking up the imagination here, and just taking that magic wand and just swirling it around your heart. And now bringing it up to your third eye, just rotating your magic wand around. We are opening up more of these chakras and the energy centers to receive even more. And now your wand is at the top of your head, and you're just waving your wand. And then just taking it down the center column and just waving it around your feet and, and into your earth star chakra below your feet so that you can ground all of this in and manifest. All of these energies, Niantakosa, Biasa Kata Ashiastaka. You are the wizard and magicians, dear one. Niamaka. It is that easy for you to connect. And we know that uh, trust, like trust is a big factor. Can I do it right? Am I doing it right? Did I do it right? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. And then anything that is uh, surfacing that is not trusting yourself as this wizard and magician that just goes into the light if you choose to release it. So we are creating more space by releasing any illusions, any lies about uh, who has the magic, who controls the magic wand. Yasata, Niyombata, Iyosata Niki. And just taking some deep breaths in and out. Just 
So allowing these beautiful energies to permeate your energy field, your chakras, your cells, because this is all high frequency consciousness, dear ones. That's what we bring in. It's what you are. And some of you uh, may notice or uh, have a knowing or uh, may not know at all, yet the gnomes are here as well and they have their little shovels and they're, they're just, um, they're kind of like uh, um, loosening the, the earth around your feet. It's loosening up the earth so that you are receiving and grounding this in even more. Thank you, gnomes. The Atta Alpha, the E, Atta Ka. Yona Paasa. So with this, with this new space, with this, this consciousness that is, is permeating all around you, just allowing the dragon energy, the dragon energy in even more. And this is expanding what is already your experience. You're here because there's some experience, whether it's a dream or a, a, a knowing or a seeing or or whatever it is. And we are so delighted to be of service. And, and we are of service to you, dear one, but we are also of service to the earth and to the consciousness evolution, the expansion, so that the the seventh golden age is, is upon the earth, active and, and, and going strong. And so we are also here to be of service that <clears throat> perhaps you may uh, wish to call upon us. Like if there's a situation in your town or within your family or within your nation or the world to call upon us. And, and, and we come in many, many, many varieties or forms like fire dragons and air dragons and earth dragons and water dragons and many, many different types of cosmic dragons, dragons with the, the uh, crystals and, and all different types. We are here to assist and so to go and, and breathe our consciousness, to fly above an area or a situation, to assist that situation in, in coming back into alignment and into wholeness. And we are because it is a free world, a free will world, dear one. We, as well as the ascended masters, the angels, the archangels, we come at your command. And we come with your command is your calling in because we must be called in by you. We cannot interfere with your free will, unless we are called in. And then we are here.
Niyama ta osa ta ashianta kakia. Just slowly bringing yourself back. Knowing that all these streams of consciousness and of energy are alchemizing within you and assisting you in connecting even more with the dragons, with the elementals. And then when you're ready, just thanking the dragons, the elementals, thanking Merlin, all the beings that are here assisting in this process. And then when you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back. Are you taking some deep breaths, rubbing your hands together? Beautiful, beautiful. So I want to tell everyone a story because <laughs> um, it was so, so fantastic. Um, in 2020, just before the shutdown, I went with um, my dear friend and um, and mentor who I worked with, who helped me bring through Divine Cosmic Alchemy and Galactic Numerology, Danielle Rama Hoffman and her husband. We went to Egypt. We were called a whole group of us adepts, and we went through all the temples. And one um, one of our one of one of the the people in our group said to me, cause he knew I was, you know, about dragons. I had mentioned dragons and, and we had just met. Um, of course, we've known each other many lifetimes, but we had just met on the trip. And he said, um, before we ate dinner, he said, I laid down and took a nap and I saw, I saw a dragon and he was really angry or something. And, and I was like, oh, like then I got like, I really got this energy and this download. And, and when I tapped in <laughs> and I, I did tell him this, it was this magnificent green dragon in, in the heart of Gaia in the middle of the earth. And, and the dragon was not angry. The dragon told me, I am just waking up after eons of being asleep and just holding this energy at the center of the earth. And so, and it was just this magnificently large green dragon. And I was like, oh my gosh, because he was stretching and growling and waking up. And, and my friend who sensed this thought, you know, there's this angry dragon and not at all. And, you know, the, there's so dragons have, but have come forth so much in, um, you know, in, in cinema, um, in, in, uh, the, these, the, the myths in writings, and many times they are um, they are shown to be you know horrible beings or whatever. And all of the dragons I've ever met have been amazing beings and and are here to to assist us and to help us. So so that and 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 they will reappear on the surface of the earth. But right now they are coming to us energetically. Um, so that we can, um, so that we can, uh, work with them and, um, and, and many times, you know, if you close your eyes, you can meet your dragon. My dragon's name is, is Pele. And, um, when I'm traveling, sometimes I see him in the airport because he's always with me. I also have a unicorn and, and other beings that are with me, but, um, Pele is so funny because when I'm in the airport, like, Normally he's kind of like seven feet tall or something, but he gets as tall as like the airport, like the height of the airport. 
ceiling, which is way up there. And I have to laugh. And, um, and um, it's, there, there are still many who, who believe that they, they are myth, right? And um, uh, I was walking with my daughter and she and I were walking through the most magical forest she, it, up at her college. And um, she, <laughs> she's, she's not choosing to um, believe in dragons right now. And yet, as we're walking in this magical forest, I'm getting all this energy. The trees are like saying hello to me. And I'm like the elemental beings. I, when I say I'm seeing, like I was just like really perceiving energetically all the elemental beings. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw her dragon walking behind her. And I said, oh, I see your dragon walking behind you. Mom. <laughs> that meant don't go any farther. And I saw the dragon, like I saw the colors. I said, and the dragon kind of went, like kind of dropped his shoulders, like, like a boo, you know, um, like, oh. And I said, I told the dragon, don't worry. When she turns 25, she'll wake up <laughs> maybe before that. But um, so, so we, we each actually have a dragon and, um, and and many many dragons that that are are so excited to be working with us. So so all of that has come through, and um, and there's there's I'm sure tons of questions. And um, so how would you like to begin, Monsef? Did you want to talk a little bit about your experience? Um, yeah. So uh, first, thank you so much. That was uh, the goddess with the dragons and light language, which was uh, very beautiful, very profound, and. Uh, um so for me it was it's it's been a while that's uh i connect with it was 2020 uh i think it, it was big for 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 everyone it was for me it was like a time for like a huge shift uh mostly inner uh shift and i was calling up on the dragons it was more to tap into their energy um to help with to bring more First, be more grounded and also have more trust, more more confidence um, in those times when I want to take a decision or I feel confused or maybe something that I've, I've been triggered with, I'm going through that. And the energy felt like really, really strong, like really huge. And it, it was like, they felt like very sovereign and it's like someone that's, we admire and at the same time we show so much so much respect toward them and uh so this is how uh my connection with them was it was yeah more about helping me to ground to have confidence and trust my my inner knowing and so for the time i was going through yeah 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 beautiful and and the fact that you know you felt the dragon energy for uh, a situation in your life that i mean what an amazing way so obviously you you um have come into this lifetime to remember that not everybody has um in in you know in their uh in their daily life or whatever but uh just the fact that um this energy came through and and really they're just they're benevolent like unconditionally loving beings that is just um i i mean i sometimes the 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 love that i feel when i tap in is just overwhelming and brings me to tears because they they love us so 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 much and they they want they're so excited that um that consciousness is raising and that they can help once again yeah Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, beautiful. And also we'll take questions. First, we have like really great comments, like our audience, very excited about the subjects. And uh, maybe I will share maybe two. Mm -hmm. First one from, from YouTube. Uh, it's, I think, Elena. Uh, this town, uh, uh, her town, this town has, have a fire dragon as a symbol also on flag vikings had water dragon on ship front 
in China, they build holes in the sky uh, scrapers so so that the wind dragon uh, will not be blocked from flying free. Beautiful. See, yeah. there you go. It's in it's it's in the architecture of the world. It is. It is. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Yeah. And um, Tina, look forward to this call. I believe I have several dragons around me. I also invested in some dragon oracle uh, cards. Love them. Yes, Diana uh, Cooper has a wonderful deck of yes. of dragon oracle cards. Yeah, and you can get to know more about them that way as well. That's a great way to do it. Really, yeah. is through oracle cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so uh, we will start taking also questions uh, from the audience in a little bit. So. Uh, for that, everyone, you can raise your hand by pressing reactions, then raise hand on Zoom or star nine on your phone, or you can type your questions. And before we receive, maybe we already have a couple ones. Uh, before we take questions, um, Denise, I would love if you can uh, talk uh, a little bit about the the live class that you will be holding on July 7th. It will be 777. And then also are offering um, a Dragon Activation one-on-one -on -one private session. And I invite everyone to visit the link yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise. Yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise. Um, D-E-N-I-S-E. -E. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, later on the replay page, and also on YouTube video description. You will find the link. And I will put the link also on the chat boxes. Um, so yeah, uh, Denise, I would love if you can tell us about these two packages. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So um, I've been called to do uh, workshops. Um, I did one on 11-11, 12-12 of last year um, on the, the equinox um, in, uh, in March, which would be spring for most for the Northern Hemisphere. And um, and did a uh, an expansion workshop for the number six month of June, and then so this one is the number seven because we're in the month of July. And as as the galactic numerologist, the the number energies are our consciousness um, expanders, consciousness raisers, and so um, so what I do in these. Um, in these workshops and you can join live if you can if not i send the audio afterwards um but it's uh it's a lot of the like the light language um with like in this particular one the number seven and it's going to be on seven 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 because this year of 2023 the two and the zero and the two and the three adds up to seven so we're in a seven universal year numerologically and so So, uh, so the number seven and all those energies to, um, to unlock consciousness that really is, um, you know, the seven, seven, seven is known as a lucky number. And really what we do is we're going to come through and, um, and clean out some of those, those duality, um, like, like, it, um, the example they gave, they showed me was like pulling the, the lever on um, a slot machine and just hoping to get the lucky triple sevens, right? And that um, that's not, that's duality. It's not how it works. Um, the, the abundance, everything comes, it's your birthright. So so we work with the sacred, sacred numerology. So that's happening um, next week on 777. And then um, also I'm offering, um, I offer on my website, and so I'm offering here a, a dragon activation session. And, um, and what that is, is it's, it's almost like a, um, it's going to be bespoke for you because uh, you, uh, when you come to the session, you may say, well, I want to meet my dragon, or um, I want to, um, deepen into the dragon energies or whatever it is, whatever it is, it's, 
it's really a bespoke session to connect even more personally for you because we do it one-on-one. -on -one. So, so the light language comes through for you. Um, so those are the, those are the offers. Um, and I would love for, gosh, I'd love to, to, um, to do that for you. If you're being called, um, then yeah, all the information's there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Denise. Um, so grateful to you, um, as always, uh, for for you offering your your uh, your services, your guidance, the, the healing work, the activation that you are offering here, whether on the the life class or workshop that we'll be offering. It will be on July seventh. Um, there will be a recording also if you can attend live or also if you join after that days, and also the forty five minutes uh, one 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 on one private session. So um, yeah. So grateful to you and everyone. Um, yeah, I highly recommend that you work with uh, Denise. Um, I really love her energy, her work, her message, and uh, yeah, I really, I really trust her, and I feel honored to share her work with you here. So, and again, the the link is yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise. Yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise. D E N I S E. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, the replay page later. And the link will be also on YouTube video description and on the chat boxes on Zoom and YouTube. And uh, yeah, so let's start taking questions. Uh, Tina, can you please unmute yourself? Hello. 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 Um, I don't know if you see my background picture that I put on. I don't know. I just posted that. Um, I see at least two dragons in there. And it was actually two weeks after my partner passed and I was feeling so lost. And I realized that I felt that they showed up to show me that everything would be okay. I've had such an attraction to dragons for years and years, but actually I think today, like I've been trying to get this unstuck and I'm like, I was looking and all of a sudden, boom, you're down. I'm like, I have to be here. I don't know why, but like, and when you did the meditation, I started bawling. I feel like many, many years ago, I was like with the dragons all the time or, or like with some major connection. And it's like, it, I started crying. And then I realized like towards the end of the meditation, I got, we're here, we're here. You don't have to be so sad. Like I was sad because I felt like they weren't in my life anymore. It, part of me feels like, like I, my heart shut down because I lost. And it's like, I feel like they keep on showing, no, we're here, we're here. <laughs> and they're like, ah. <laughs> But anyway, I don't know if you have any. Uh, to share with you. Well, Tina, um, so much love to you, and it, you know, to to have someone transition um, is just you know, it's it's a whole um, process, and and um, the fact that the dragon showed up and in the clouds, and I can tell you, I see dragon clouds. They they that is one of the ways that they can appear to you and absolutely you are you're spot on like you realize that and you were open to see that they are here to tell you all is well like it's just a different place of being right um uh, it's another dimension of being it's not uh being here on the earth but but that they are here to let you know that all is well and i can see i can see a dragon in there that's amazing and I could see where you could see there's two dragons actually one almost looks like an angel but yeah um, yeah <laughs> yeah but it's just so beautiful um and 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 the fact that um that the dragons have come to you and you are remembering and you're going to remember more and more and more it's like just going in and saying okay so what else what like maybe um you can write whatever whatever way works best for you if it's like just closing your eyes and going in meditation um if it's like writing a question and then writing the answer down uh just connecting they they're stepping forward for you to connect more and more and to for you to be open to what they are bringing into your life and and it uh and it will and it is around happy occasions and joyful occasions and uh, as well so so they're there for everything for everything that you need them for so that's beautiful thank you so much for sharing that i'm glad you brought I, in i this. remember 
I remember one evening I had done, I had done, um, when I first got the cards, I used them more. I haven't been using them. So this was also like, Tina, pick up the cards. Um, I had, I don't remember which dragon it was that night, but I was in my Yukon and I was looking up at the sky through the sun roof and, and it was the most magic. I swear it was the unicorn. Like it was, a, it was unbelievable. And I wanted to get my phone out because I always like take pictures. I'm like, no, this is for me. This isn't for the picture. This is, they're, they're here for me, you know, yeah. and I have another one that I have. I looked at it looked like rainbow colors during the day, but it wasn't like a rainbow. It was just all these colors. And I took it. It's a freaking dragon. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. You know, I didn't notice oh, no. it when I first, but when I took the picture, but I've been seeing them for years. My first was a um, never ending story with uh, mm -hmm. the dragon on there. Um, it was named right now, but um, Falcor. And that's what also most looks like Falcor in that picture there, I think. But um, just, and then it was that, uh, Game of Thrones and it's like Tina we're here and then when I started doing the meditating because I hadn't done that yet the first dragon eyes all the time all the time so yeah I just need to work with them because they're here and I believe we've been together many years ago <laughs> many lifetimes ago beautiful beautiful gosh that's so thank exciting you. thank you yeah. and there's going to be a lot more expansion for you so just keep going because they're yeah. like yeah. yeah thank you Tina yeah. thank you so much bless you Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, Tina. Much love. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, thank you, Tina. And uh, thank you, Denise. Um, let's see. So I have a question from Vivian. Dear Denise, um, please help me contact my dragon for support on planet Earth. Thank you. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I would, de Vivian, I would definitely um, maybe uh, have you come into a session and we can do that together because there's there's a lot in that, right? There's meeting your dragon and then working on planet Earth. And and you can call that in as just, just that. Like, I'm calling in my dragon to help me with my mission and purpose here on the Earth. You can You can start there if you'd like. And, and just, they have, we have to call them. And then with this, with all that came through, all the energy that came through, um, all you've been opened up, everyone's been opened up even more to receiving the energies. So just allowing it and trusting it and seeing um, what comes through for you. And maybe there's um, a particular um, uh, uh, task that you and your dragon are meant to, to help with. And it might be something in meditation. It might be something where you volunteer for something. It might be something where you, um, if you have an Instagram account, you put it on Instagram or whatever. So, um, so I would say definitely um, uh, to, to just tap in and open up uh, because even more space has been opened with what we've done today. So hopefully that helps Vivian. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you very much, Denise. And thank you, Vivian, also. Um, Michelle from Canada, can you please unmute yourself? Hello, Denise. Hello, Michelle from Canada. How are you faring with the uh, fires? Yes, it's a little bit smoky, but yeah, it'll clear up soon, hopefully, yeah. so we can enjoy our few months of summer. <laughs> yes, we will. We'll call in the air dragons and the and the water dragons, and and yeah, it's all a part of the divine plan. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm in Detroit, so I uh, we get a little oh. smell, and yeah, every once in a while. So blessings to you as well. Thank you. Thank you. I've got a question about, um, I wrote a book years ago, but I, I'm writing again, but I've had writer's block for two years. And I'm wondering if there's some, and I'm new to even connecting with dragons. This is it. I felt so drawn and intrigued when I read your bio. Um, but I'd like to, if I could have some dragon guidance around how to remove what is the like I'm not sure what it is I felt so so compelled and um, inspired in the first book and this one is just feeling flat for me right now mm, okay it's funny right when you said that I saw like your dragon holding your hand and as you're writing so I saw that like 
guiding your hand as you're writing. And um, hmm. And so calling upon your dragon to, ah, okay. So, so releasing that there's any blocks, okay? That's the first thing. Your dragon is like, there's no blocks. You don't have writer's block. That's like, that's a thing, right? That's, that's a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's, it's words like writer's block. Like I can't, I can't do something. And, um, and so what's coming through is that, um, it's like your dial, like if you were, if your book and the content is a station on a radio, you're just a little bit off. You're just like, you're just a little bit, like it's staticky. It's just, you just have to turn the dial a little bit. So, so that may be, oh, I'm getting so many chills right now. Um, so ask your dragon to help you to fully align to what is your body of work and what is coming through to, to dial you in. And, and um, the other thing that's coming through for you is that um Everything that's been going on these last two years for you, when you've quote unquote had writer's block, has been leading you to the point that you're at in the energy frequency that you are, that your higher self and you decided to be at in order for you to bring through this body of work. So, so it's, it's okay. And it, it will flow again. It's just just readjusting yourself, realigning yourself, calling in, in these last two years, like all that's been released, like calling in the consciousness that you have upgraded for yourself and, and then allowing that to come through. And also to know that your book is a being, right? It's it. And so, so asking the book to also help you to, um, to write it, and then, and then allowing like your dragon and it in, in, in to to hold your hand and to guide you um, as you're writing and just and and oh, I got so many chills because the next thing I was going to say is magic. Let the magic come through. Connect to the magic of you. Connect to the magic of you. Yeah. I will. Thank you so much. It has been two years of expansion and learning so much from Monsef and all of his guests and having sessions. Now mm -hmm. I have to breathe and connect with the, the guidance that's there and move forward. Very exciting, Michelle. Very exciting. Thank you for bringing that forward. Thank you. Because, you know, we all, everybody learns and, and there's something that everybody gets from, from everything that's brought through, through. So thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Monset. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Much love. Oh, Mart I'm seeing Martine says, Denise, I enjoyed the background of the beautiful aura lights. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I was on mute. I, I just said thank you to, uh, to Michelle and also to you. <laughs> And uh, Kathleen uh, Shiratz, um, I see mine as black with flashes of gold. The name that I got is Exalta. And she asks, you, you've you been saying he, are they all male energy? Okay, so you have a name, which is amazing. Uh, Ka Ka Kathleen. Okay. Uh, she's on YouTube, not Zoom. I can't. Oh, okay. So I can't yeah. even see. Yeah. So, um. So she, can you read the last part of that? Because I, what I was uh, I, I, hearing is that she, she knows her dragon. She knows her dragon's name, yes. and yeah. And so, what else and, was? Uh, you've been saying he uh, are they all male energy? Oh, he. Hmm. Oh, he's. Um, that's no. That's my dragon Pele. <laughs> he's dragon energy. My dragon Pele. No. Absolutely. They are um, really, they, 
they are in wholeness, right? So they have both the divine feminine and divine masculine, and yet they um, they may come through um, with one or the other, depending on um, like like your particular dragon, like mine, um, is more of a male energy and a very like uh, very gentle yet powerful energy because it's what um, what I require for all that I'm doing. Um, so, so yeah, it, it, there may be a very, like, I just now I just saw this, <laughs> I just saw this dragon saying, I'm, you know, I like this, this green dragon, very, um, just say, you know, with almost a higher voice and kind of a sweet, like almost something you would see, like in a drawing in a children's book. That's what I'm seeing. She's saying, you know, yes, we are we are here also in the feminine energies. So it's just all what, what, um, you know, what you, what you want for your own person, personal dragon, and also what energies you're calling in for, um, like for the earth. So yeah. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Denise. And uh, also thank you, Kathleen. And Martin, she, she wrote, I tend to refer to elemental aspects as, my primal primal self is that correct? Um, Martine, are you here, Martine? Is she here or is she on YouTube? Um, so when you say your primal self, um, so like the the elements, the elements are um. They are what make up our physicality, right? They're what make up our physicality. And then the elementals help with that energy, with that consciousness. Uh, so it's 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 a part of how our bodies are made. We, we're made with the elements. Um, and the elementals are a part of our body. They're like helping us as we're we're downloading even more and more and more um, higher consciousness to even um, to be reversing the aging process because that is part of the duality consciousness. So as we're raising that, the uh, the elements and the elementals are part of that that physical process. And so um, and and so I I I don't know if you can explain band a little bit more upon what you mean but uh but the they have been with us and with humanity from the very beginning like from the very beginning um the elementals and the elements have been with us from the very beginning our very beginning so maybe that's what you mean by um primal maybe you're tapping into that part of you that knows from knows them from many 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 eons ago yeah so. thank you i just found she she left she was with us on zoom but she left okay. uh, this is why she didn't respond okay. thank you very much <laughs> and uh yes I, we have feedback from kathleen on youtube yes i get it i feel like i want my dragon to help me with learning my power beautiful Beautiful. Yes. Yes. And so um, in order for that to happen, you just have to ask and then you have to receive it. Right. Um, we get so busy in our lives and, it, and and I'm glad you brought this through because this is um, this is what is sparking from from what you're bringing through is that, um, you know, we 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 might take a little bit of time and connect in, but then um, uh, get so busy in our lives that we're uh, more focused on what our eyes can see and, and the outside reality and everything that's going on. And to be really coming from that, that inner place, that inner heart space, and just taking time throughout the day to connect, whether it's to our guardian angels, to our dragons, to ascended masters, to our own presence, um, uh, whatever it is that uh, to cosmic beings, to the elementals in, you know, to the trees, to the rocks, crystals, that, um, that we take the time to connect and then to receive, to, and to, to, to receive and to trust what is coming through. So 
So thank you for bringing that because that sparked that um, that uh, stream of consciousness through as well. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much, Denise, uh, and also Ka Kathleen. And uh, maybe can we take one more question? Yes, sure. Yeah, so it's Yvette. Can you please unmute yourself? Hi, myself. Thank you for, Hi, for taking my call. Um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and see who or oh, oh, what dragon is connected to me. Um, ever since Games of Thrones, I've been so fascinating uh, with them. And I bought figurines and stuffed animals just to have the energy around the house and any messages that may come up. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. So we are here. We are here. And um, and so you've got that physical presence of of the the dragons around your house. And so how <laughs> how would you like to play? That's what I'm getting. How would you like to play? We are here to play with you as well. And so part that's another part of the beautiful energy of the elemental beings and the dragons is that, um, yes, they are serious in whatever uh, endeavor they are up to, whatever they are helping us with or whatever uh, they are helping um, on the earth with. And yet it's also to, uh, and so what's coming through uh, for you, for everyone is, that there's also um, fun, right? There's they're here to have fun and to to teach, and and the teaching is really helping you to remember even more. So, so there may even be just playing with the dragons, and um, and for you, Yvette, um, bringing um, bringing the element uh, like they're going to help you bring the element of fun and joy, and and to just kind of let go of some of the seriousness and um and just allow allow more lightness um for you so they're they're here to help everyone with that and that's what they wanted to tell you as well Yvette so thank you for that yeah thank you Yvette uh, she's on mute so uh thank you very much and also thank you very much Denise um very grateful to you and yeah thank you so much for um for the support you you shared with our audience for the inspiration the, the wisdom and also the activation you, you did earlier so so grateful to you thank you so much i am so so happy to be here i'm just so grateful that that all of you have, are here and um and and that the dragons are are touching you touching your heart um, helping you remember even more and really knowing that, um, that we have so much support always. Like this is something that comes through every single time, whether I'm working with a client or I'm speaking, what, whether I'm in meditation, you have so much support. We have so much support. We don't have to do any of this on our own. And so, so in this case with the dragons, call the dragons in, call them to help you have fun, to have lightness, to help you with the challenge, ride on their backs, go into higher consciousness, um, send them to uh, places upon the earth that need help, that need assistance or situations. And, um, and just really be open to what you're receiving from that, because you will receive, you will receive more and more and more. Yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you, all of the beings who are here and the dragons and the elemental kingdoms. Thank you. So grateful. Thank you, Mansa. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Wonderful. And we have some feedback. Michelle, uh, so grateful to you and the dragons. Uh, Linda, such a wonderful call. Thank you so much. Gina, thanks for this call. Needed, rem uh, needed reminder to work with dragons. Vivian, it's wonderful to feel and sense the joy from you honoring elementary elements. Love, Vivian. And Kathleen, thank you. Love this. Um, yeah. So also, uh, Elena, dragons are beautiful, beautifully wise, playful. Yes. And yes. the smiley. 
Uh, wonderful. So yeah, thank you again, Denise. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you for your questions, your comments, and really co-creation with us on uh, this really beautiful experience. So very grateful to you. And again, you can um, sign up for one of the the, 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 the packages that Denise is offering to us. Uh, the first one is um, a live class uh, on the 777, July 7th. And it's a 60 minute uh, live class. And also you can, uh, you will receive the recording for that. And the second one includes the, the class plus um, 45 minutes, uh, dragon activation and meet your dragon one-on-one -on -one private session. And the link again is um, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Denise D-E-N-I-S-E -E. or you can click on the special offer button which is on the live events page later on the replay page the link is on YouTube video description and also on the chat boxes on both Zoom and uh, and YouTube and yeah so so that's everyone I'm sending you so much love and then we see you on the next call. Bye-bye.